Lynn, Nathaniel, Adela. Although okay. he looks completely at home in the classroom, Jeff Bone has only recently joined the teaching world after nearly two decades of working as a Red Seal carpenter. I was 38 and, and kind of looking to change things up because I was getting older, still young enough to change, but you know, getting to that point where it's going to it's going to be tough, tougher to change careers. So I, I just decided that I, I had it narrowed down to two different careers and and teaching was number one on my list. Mr. Bone is a graduate of the CTS Bridge to Teachers program that takes journeymen and tradespeople and puts them through the Bachelor of Education program at the University of Alberta. That cut it down to one year of university, plus there was funding that would help me, so that opportunity presented itself and I was fortunate enough to be accepted in that whole new world, which is completely different from industry, like you couldn't be more different. I really enjoyed it, really enjoyed it, and did very, very well. Now in his second year of teaching, he teaches grades 7 through 9 at Michael Strombitsky School. We're lucky to have somebody, as he said, has a foot in both worlds. It's so important when you have a course like IA to have somebody who just is very passionate and has that real world knowledge. And now that we have Jeff, the kids are, it's just amazing to see the shop. It's a beehive of activities, they love him, they love having conversations with him. Um, and it's really neat to see those relationships. I just enjoy young people, I enjoy being around them and I enjoy seeing them grow and it's extremely rewarding that way. We're very lucky to have somebody like him to come and teach us. Um, many other schools don't have opportunities to have somebody who actually did construction to come and teach them how to work different machines and make different projects so we're very lucky to have him. Jeff and his classes have recently won a $10,000 scholarship grant from Lowe's Canada. You have to apply for it based on a project. So our project was buying more equipment and, and making our shop more versatile so we can do a lot more and more varied projects and the kids can get more out of the shop program. We're trying to expose the kids to different careers and a lot of those kids didn't realize that that was a trade and that's a career that they could potentially go into. So that is really rewarding to open their eyes a bit. Even if they don't go into that trade, they have a better idea of what's out there and they've experienced it and maybe it just becomes a hobby or, or maybe it leads to other things and, and that's really, really fulfilling. All right. For Shaw TV, I'm Jen McDonald. Okay, so this is gonna be the top of your box or the whole shape? 